Welcome, in front of me is a Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro and today I'll show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started, pull down your notifications and swipe down once more to extend the list of toggles. Now one of the toggles should be a screen recording one. If it's not on the first page, you can swipe to the left and this will show you a second page, but I can already see it right here at the bottom. Once you see this toggle, you can hold it, or you should be able to hold it. Oh, never mind, it just, we just tap on it uh, and it will give us the option for settings. Now, typically when you hold the toggle, it does take you to the settings, but appears that doesn't work like, like this here. Anyway, we're going to first navigate to the settings, um, more settings. And the reason we want to do this is just so we can see how it is, how it's set by default. So uh, quickly going into several different things. Uh, let's start off with the screen recording quality. It's set to default, whatever that's supposed to be. Um, so anyway, we can choose from super uh, a couple different uh, options. We have things like super definition. Uh, it's just a dumb way of naming different things, but in general, probably you want to go with the highest one. So 1080p, 16 megabits per second, or you could go with the custom one, which allows you to select the resolution and the bitrate. Though I believe 16 megabits should be good enough uh, for recording. The higher we go, obviously the more storage the recording will take. And the 16 megabits per second is basically as it sounds. So each second you will be using 16 megabits of storage. Uh, so yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you increase it to something like it is set here right here, which is 24, then you will be basically using 24 and uh, per second. So obviously that will be a significant increase in storage taken by each minute of, of recording. But like I mentioned, uh, the default one or the super definition is pretty good by default. If you notice some kind of like blocky squares uh, forming on your recording when you're panning around, uh, then you might want to increase it to one step higher. And it also gives us right here a information that with this setting right here, it will about will take about 150 megabytes of storage per minute. So if we increase this, as you can see, it goes to 200. 16 takes about 100. So you should be aware of roughly how much uh, storage you will need per minute or in general, I guess. So that's one thing that it can change. Uh, another thing, would be the sound. Uh, we have system sound, mic and system and none. For some reason we don't have uh, the microphone alone, but you can choose whichever one you want. And here we have also a bunch of other toggles which you can go through and see what you find useful, what you don't, toggle it on or off depending on how you want it. Anyway, from here you can just close this and start recording by selecting this circle right here. So once you click on the red circle, once you were recording already, obviously, it will automatically stop the recording and save it into your gallery application. Now, I want, I was looking for Netflix just so I can showcase uh, something that you might encounter at one point, uh, which is when you're trying to record certain applications, uh, majority of them will be recordable, but there are some that won't. And one of those applications is Netflix. Uh, there are also other ones. Obviously, most of the streaming applications will be will be blocking your screen recorder. Uh, additionally, bank applications also tend to do that for security reasons, though Netflix doesn't do it for your security, unlike bank applications. Netflix does it for their own security, uh, which is Quite annoying considering it's your phone that you paid uh, money for and some shady ass company has control over your device by being able to block your screen recorder pretty frustrating and there's nothing you can do about it so if you ever encounter a screen recording where you are presented with just a black screen even though you are absolutely certain you are seeing something on the screen just know that that applications has more have have more control over your own device than you do uh, and nothing you can do about it now Continuing with the recording that I have captured, we can navigate into the gallery. And here we have a couple different albums. Now, by default, I believe you will be in the Photos tab, which will not contain your screen recordings. So make sure you navigate to the albums right here and you have Screen Recorder Album. And in here, obviously, you have your screen recording.
So there we go. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.